So today is one of those days that I probably should have done this a while ago, but here we are. I am going to be working on decluttering the food in our kitchen and cleaning out any areas that I keep food. So it's one of those things that I really hate doing. I hate cleaning the refrigerator. I hate cleaning out the cabinets. It just feels like a huge, it just, it just feels like a huge hassle. But today we are going to do it because it is Tuesday. It is decluttering day. And so that means that we are going to get one thing done that's irritating us around our house. So if you are decluttering with us, remember to throw a heart emoji down below so we know we're all doing this together and let us know what you're decluttering. So I'm gonna start in the cabinets behind. I'm gonna get out any food that's either old or we just don't like it, we haven't been eating it, and I'm gonna put it aside. Now food that's not open, I'm gonna just donate to, we have several different little pantries you can just drop food off in our neighborhood and even just around our community. So that's awesome. Any food that's open, if I feel like it's still good, I might go on my buy nothing group that I have on Facebook and see if anyone just wants some food. But I also like to start when I'm cleaning out the kitchen, I like to have a clean space. So I've already washed the few dishes that were in the sink and I've wiped the countertops down a little bit just so that I have a fresh place to start because I know that I'm gonna want some flat surfaces to work with. I'm also gonna take all the food out first and then I'm going to clean and wipe down the area inside, wipe down any of the baskets that I keep food in and then only put back what I know we are using. I have gotten so much better at only buying things that we're actually eating every month. That is something that I used to waste hundreds of dollars on every month, just buying food that we weren't actually eating. So I've tried to be very intentional over the past couple of months in seeing what we actually are eating and going through every month, but nobody is perfect. Sometimes my daughter just decides she doesn't like things anymore, or sometimes food comes into our lives by other people, and then we realize that we just don't really like it or haven't eaten it. So as you can see, all of the containers are cleaned out and I've dumped a bunch of snacks and trash and things that need to go through. It's just not something that I do every day. So it is definitely time to start decluttering and cleaning our little pantry. My daughter is hilarious and sometimes she'll sneak into the candy jar and instead of throwing the wrappers away so I would never know, she just puts the wrappers back into the basket. But also, I recently got these cookies from Aldi that are almond flour. I'm trying to go more on a keto diet just because I've been having some problems with gluten, but they are amazing. So if you want to try something, if you're on a keto diet or just want to try something new, these cookies are great. So mostly what I found is just trash, but I did find a few things that actually my mom likes to eat, like apricots and these little sugar cookies. So I'm gonna send those over to her because I know that we are just not eating them up quick enough and they've been sitting in the cabinet a little bit too long. I'm taking everything out of the second cabinet now. And in this cabinet, it has everything from baking goods to spices to my coffee and tea. So I'm gonna put those down and I'm gonna empty everything out and clean out the baskets in just a second after I wipe down all of the flat surfaces. I'm probably not alone in this, so let me know, but often when I am by myself, I talk to myself out loud. So right now I'm just talking myself through what I should keep, what I should get rid of, and the next steps. I did find one thing of honey that I'm gonna donate and that's mainly just because it's not local. And when it comes to my daughter, I really try to get her local honey for her allergies. And I happened to find another one when I was at a farmer's market. So I'm gonna let this one go. To tell me what you do, but I very rarely keep any kind of extra party supplies. I just find that every party usually has a different kind of theme and so I keep very minimal and only the things that I think I have enough 
for if there is another party and if they are generic enough. This is where I keep my tea and hot chocolate and coffee all in this container. I like to keep it right on top of the coffee machine because it just makes logical sense for me. And because I have such little counter space, I just like to get it off of the counter. So I used to have a lot of containers for food in my fridge in my icebox, but I actually just stopped using them. It became more of a hassle. When you buy different products, they don't always fit. Even if it's the same product, they don't always fit in that same container. And I, be, and I found that it just felt like more clutter and it was too much for me to try to keep up with all of these different kinds of baskets. So you kind of have to feel out what your bandwidth is. Not all of us can take out all of our food and put them into beautiful baskets. Though I love the way it looks, it just wasn't logical or making sense for me. So rookie mistake, please don't buy a bunch of groceries and then try to clean out your fridge. It's going to take a lot more work. <laughs> but now I'm just taking all of the food out. I'm gonna wipe down the flat surfaces. On my rag, I just have a tiny, tiny bit of soap. So that's all you really need to get the grime off of your fridge, unless you have some stuff that's really serious. But then I'm also gonna take out all the flat surfaces and the drawers and wash them in my beautiful, huge farm sink. So as a teenager, I mainly was the one cleaning out the fridge or my mom, and I just feel like those memories still kind of haunt me. But the fridge that I have now is actually the same one that came with this house, so who knows how old it is, but it's very simple. There is no ice maker, no big fancy thing like that, which actually makes cleaning it probably a lot easier. I've never had a fancy fridge, so I can't really speak to it, but I can imagine that the more you add to anything, the harder it is to clean. So now I'm cleaning the very bottom shelf and drawers and I have to say they were disgusting. I don't know what happened in there. Maybe an onion went bad and spoiled. I don't even remember seeing it. Somebody must have hidden it from me. But this shelf was disgusting and actually it started to smell when I cleaned it, which was weird because in the fridge I didn't smell anything bad at all. But it just shows you the amazing things you can find when you start to clean your fridge. So I pushed our rotating faucet too far and forgot that the water was on. So we had a bit of a flood, which added a little more excitement to this fridge clean. Honestly, I'm exhausted and I don't know if I would do the refrigerator and the cabinets ever again at the same time, but everything is feeling much better. And we're done. If you have enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, then hit subscribe and head over to my channel, Minimal Ease. I'll see you guys soon.